Welcome to this short video training session for the Dynascope DS8400 monitor. This training session will demonstrate the various trend functions within the monitor. So first of all we are going to look at where you can find the trends so you may see them as individual keys in the user keys down the side here or you may have a stacker key menu like so. So if I touch that it will bring up all the different trends that are available to me in the monitor. So the first one we're going to look at is the graph trend. So if I select the graph trend as you can see it brings up a graph picture of all of the parameters that you're monitoring in a graph pictorial form. I can from this window change my time resolution so anything from 10 minutes to 24 hours and a number of resolutions in between so if I select one you can see that the view changes here I can move this little scroll bar along I don't know if you can see the time changing there but I can move it to a specific time if I choose to any little red blobs that you might see along there are where alarms have occurred. I can also look at other graph trend lists that are available to me. From here, you may notice there's a little workflow along the top. So I can then move from here into the table trend. Now this will give me a list of all the parameters that I'm monitoring and time columns here. And once again, I can change the time resolution. So this is currently set to 10 second time intervals, which is the lowest I can look at, but right up to hourly. And again, many of the time intervals in between. Again, I can move this little slider to a specific time point just by sliding that along there. And again, I can go into other lists of various uh, parameters there to view and if I close that down again I'm back to my list view here if any of these are highlighted in pink it's where an alarm has occurred or they're out of out of the set range the other thing I can do is print if I'm connected to a printer I can print this list by pressing that print button if I use the back button that takes me back to that graph trend and back again back to my uh, main monitoring view there. We're going to go into the next one by going back into the trends menu and you can see here I've got my recall. Now recall will bring up a rhythm strip for every alarm that's occurred so as you can see here I've got my list of rhythm strips in front of me there. If there's one that I particularly want to look at I can touch and it will bring that rhythm strip into a, a bigger format which I can then scroll along backwards and forwards either way and I can also print so I can print that rhythm strip out so long as I'm connected to a printer there. Using the back button takes me back to that list and again I can use that little scroll bar there to take me to a specific time point or I can touch latest which takes me back to the, the most recent alarm recall rhythm strip there. The other really useful function within the alarms recall is I can search. So if I press the display selection, it shows me every type of parameter that will uh, put its alarm into that list. And I think the easiest thing to do is to turn them all off and then select the ones that you want to view. So for example, if I wanted to look for a run of something, so I might want to turn on run, maybe VT and slow VT, and then if I come out of there, it will only show me those things that I've asked it to show me, okay? And I can then go in and view as I was before and print. I can also delete any of these, so if they turn out to be nothing, I press the delete, I can select all, which will select all. If I suddenly decide, oh actually no, I want to keep that one, I can take the cross off there. Other than that, if I press delete, it will double check again 
okay and then it will delete all of those except for the one I've asked it to keep. So that is the alarm recall. Okay, so back into my trends and then the other one that I've got here is my NIBP list. Now I've not done any of those, I'm not connected to a, a non-invasive blood pressure cuff for this presentation, however if I had it would show me a list of all the non-invasive blood pressures here and at the same time it would show me anything else that was monitored at the same time that non-invasive blood pressure was taken. Okay. Whilst we're talking about non-invasive blood pressure, this little button here is very useful. If I touch that, it brings up my NIBP auto mode. So it allows me to select how often I want that non-invasive blood pressure cuff to measure. Uh, so select what you want and then press the blue go button here and it will do your non-invasive blood pressure every five minutes as I've selected until I turn it off. You can access your trends not just from here but also from the menu so if I go into menu you'll see here data review and it's all the things we've looked at so the recall, the table trend, the graph trend but also alarm history. Less useful clinically however it does show you every little change that gets made so if I was to activate the alarm sound suspend that would be logged or if I use night mode that would be logged here but also any upper or lower alarm limits that get changed will all be logged in this list. I can also go into individual trends. So if I was to touch my heart rate parameter here, it brings up my heart rate menu. And in this top left hand corner, a little trend button. And that just shows me the uh, graph trend for ECG. Equally, if I go into the arterial one and touch, it will show me my arterial graph trend. So that's another way that you can go in and look at individual trend data. So that's everything uh, to do with trends and looking back at the data and information that the monitor holds. Thank you for listening. If you require further assistance, you can contact your local clinical support specialist or email us at training at